What is going on today, guys? Right behind me, we have our all-new, budget-friendly DKX 14K scissor hoist dump trailer. We're gonna do a full walk around and compare this trailer to its bigger brother, the DJX. Stay tuned, we're gonna go over some key differences between these two and what makes up that price difference. Up front, both of these trailers come standard with a 21K easy latch adjustable coupler. And you'll see that the lever is spring-loaded and it's super easy to use. You can just pop this onto your truck, put the lever down, and it'll auto-lock. This is mounted to a six hole channel, so you have a lot of room for adjustment. You'll see that we have a slot cut into the tongue. This way you can keep your safety chains out of the mud. You won't be dragging it when you're not using the trailer. Much like those safety chains, we like the coiled string for our breakaway switch. So when you're not using the trailer, you can leave it hanging and it's not dragging in the mud. So we like to keep your trailer and your components nice and clean. Both of these trailers come standard with a 10K drop leg jack like you see here. The key difference between these two trailers is the optional hydraulic jack. The DKX does not get a hydraulic jack as an option. The DJX, you do get that option. Another cool feature about this jack is the plastic handle. Most of the other guys are gonna use a metal or steel handle. We don't like that because it's rougher on your hands and over time it'll start to rust and it can seize up on you. And it also makes a lot of noise. This one here, you won't get any of that and it won't seize up and it doesn't make any noise at all. The first noticeable difference between these two trailers is gonna be your toolbox. Let's take a look. Up here we have our deep cycle interstate battery, our three quart hydraulic pump, and the NOCO battery charger. What's really cool about this charger is it can read your battery as low as one volt, where most chargers won't read your battery even at five volts. And it has a repair function. Once you're down to one volt or two volts, your cells are more than likely damaged. This charger is capable of fixing those cells and repairing your battery. That means less battery replacements for you. You also see that we have a divider here to keep your storage space and your components separate. So as far as your storage space goes, the toolbox is about 23 inches long, 15 and a half inches wide, and 14 inches deep. All right, let's move on to the DJX and check out the toolbox. As far as storage space, the DJX toolbox is 38 inches wide, 20 and a half, 20 and a half inches long, and 12 inches deep. So you have significantly more storage space in this toolbox versus the DKX. Another key difference between these two trailers is the wireless remote. As of this year, all trailers built with a hydraulic or an electric function get a wireless remote standard. The DKX is gonna be the only trailer that we offer that will not get this remote. And it also is not an optional. Moving on to the frame. Both of these trailers get an eight inch I-beam frame, which is pretty standard in the industry. However, the difference between these two is the DKX gets an eight inch by 10 pound I-beam frame, which is the industry standard. The DJX gets an eight inch by 15 pound I-beam frame, which is industry leading. The industry standard for cross member spacing is 16 inches, which is what you'll see here in this DKX. These cross members are spaced at 16 inches apart. However, we have beefed it up in the DJX, these cross members are spaced at 12 inches apart, and we use three inch channel cross members. Now, moving on to the scissor hoist. The DKX comes standard with a five by 16 scissor hoist, which is a 14K rated scissor hoist. The DJX gets a six by 20 scissor hoist. This is the cylinder that is used in our DKX this is the cylinder that we use in our DJX. This is a five by 16, this is a six by 20. It doesn't sound like much, but a five inch circle gets 18 inches of surface area versus a six inch circle that gets 29 inches of surface area. And that gives this cylinder 44% more pushing power than a five inch. So moving on to the most noticeable difference between these two trailers, and that's gonna be the sides. The DKX gets 18 inch solid sides and six inch board sides. The benefit to these boards is if it gets hit with a bucket or it gets damaged, you can replace the board. You can't do that with steel sides. The DJX comes standard with two foot solid sides like you see here with your option to upgrade to three foot or four foot sides. 
All these side options come standard with the tough side design like you see here. That's a three inch top cap that wraps over the top of your bedside to really strengthen it and prevent bowing. So let's talk axles. Both of these trailers come standard with Lippert 7,000 pound electric brake axles and that's paired with 235-80 10-ply tires. Now the difference between these two trailers in terms of axles is going to be your option to upgrade to 8,000 pound axles and the DJX. You're limited to only your 7,000 pound axles with the DKX. And when you upgrade to 8,000 pound axles and the DJX, you'll get 17 and a half inch wheels and 16 ply tires standard. Moving on to the rear. Both trailers are going to come standard with 7 foot slide out ramps as well as the barn door and spreader gate combo. That means you can open your doors to load equipment or dump full loads of gravel or dirt, but you also have the option to spread gravel, which I'll show you here. You have a slot cut into your dump bed side here and a slot cut into your gate. You just use your chain to adjust how far open you want your gate, pull the lever, and just like that, you can spread your gravel. So the only difference between these two trailers in the rear is gonna be the stabilizer stands, which I'll show you here. The DJX is going to get these standard, and we don't offer it for the DKX. The stabilizer stands are going to support some of that weight to reduce the strain on your frame and also keep the, the back of your truck from picking up. To keep the DKX budget friendly, we have limited this trailer to only three options. You have your choice of color, you have your choice for a coupler, you can do a 2 and 5 six, coupler like this one here, or a pinnel hitch. You also have your choice to add a spare. Let's get into the pricing. The base price for the DKX comes in at just over $12,200. As where the base price for the DJX comes in at just over $13,300. So not a huge difference between these two trailers. So if you're looking for a bare bones, reliable 14K dump trailer, this is gonna be the perfect trailer for you. If you want a dump trailer that you can customize to suit your needs specifically, the DJX is gonna be the way to go. If you found this comparison video helpful, let us know what you'd like to see compared next in the comments below. If you haven't already, check out our last comparison video where we compared our DJX to our DTX, our scissor hoist versus a telescopic. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.